Okay, so uh, I had forgotten what Rico Strong had said about you. <laughs> say, I went back to the great. interview, okay. and his quote was basically like, well, I wasn't out there sh- uh, twerking with my booty in the air like uh, and, like you. And, and what you said, right? You said, you said, you was a stripper. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> okay, so let me say, this bitch said, ass motherfucker. Them. <laughs> how you not twerking? You showed up with a thong on with brown hazel contacts in your eyes with your hair um, dyed purple or some crazy shit. <laughs> right. Dancing at the right track. The right track. Shout out to the right track. Shout out to it's closed down now. That <laughs> a shit, lot of people tell me about it. Yeah. Laying on the side of the right. You, oh, that's sad. Strip, male you strip see, club in Compton. No, it was popping. It was popping. It was. Nah, okay. I ain't going to lie. It used to be mad bitches going, I'm going to the right track. I'm like, yeah, what the f? And I never knew because, you know, Jada Fire. Mm. Oh, she used to spend all her porno money at the right track. Really? Oh, my. Oh, my. Jada oh my God. Fire was a big right track. Fanatic. Wow. She loved her male strippers or whatever the case may be. Uh, I I ain't never been in there. I don't. But because I always heard, heard, heard. So when I was living in Inglewood, you know, I'm living in the hood. I circled one day. I'm like, somebody was like, yo, that was that was the right track right there. Mm. I was like, oh shit, that's where it was. Mm. By then it was all closed down, boarded up, bum sleeping out in front of it. Mm. But yeah, I've never been inside the joint. But maybe I'll it, buy it. it was Bring definitely, it back. Huh? I'll buy it and bring it back. I don't see why not. Go, <laughs> go get one one of the top male shakers. And, Imagine and, me and, having to like had them you control know. a whole little army of male strippers. I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want no parts of it. Yeah, all right. That shit sound like Stay a far away. All right, but so what is what was Rico Yo, Strong referencing in that clip? Me doing a solo. Oh. Nah, I just explained to you, 22 DPs right. is my first 22 scenes. The camera, the camera is with, with a camera in an up and over position. Uh-huh. It's up under your, your joint, right? So what, what do you, So now I can get away with, my fan base allows me to get away with just doing the solo. It's just me. Mm. I don't know, beat off, whatever, right. take a shot, whatever. In the OnlyFans age, every guy does this. Yeah. I don't know what it's like exactly because I've never seen it of any of the homies, but I know they all do it. But only certain people can get away with that because you got to have a certain fan base if right. it's going to make you some bread. I honestly think he couldn't get away with that particular act because he's not – Cool, like don't nobody, ain't nobody checking for him like that. Mm, well, he's an so old he school mad. guy, you know. He's 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 a. F- How the f- you gonna catch a fucking um uh, a rape charge on set, bro? How you catch a rape charge on a porno set? Bro, he said in the clip that he was exonerated based on the nanny cam. How do you catch a fucking rape charge on a porno set, bro? He's a f- yo. This nigga, bro, yo. Uh, <laughs> Why are you still living with your mother in Vegas? I could have been pulled up on him. I felt so disrespected because I wouldn't have said nothing. And then you heart you 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 butt hurt over some shit that was twelve years ago. That clip that because I think you kind of brought it up. Oh, it had went viral and all that, mm. and that's what sparked him to say that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I'm saying you still. This was ten something years ago, bro. But so wait, okay. For and the- I, like I explained to you earlier, I didn't put that up. Right. But wh- how did you get into it with him in the first place? Because we all cool at one point. That's what I'm telling you. Why would he? I didn't get it. Hmm. He probably just seen me a couple months pre- previous to that. Now he hmm. know he could get away with it because I'm not on set no more. Hmm. I'm not around. So now I go to Vegas. He there the, the day I'm not there. The days I'm there, he don't show up nowhere. At the convention. None of that. He shows up nowhere. Mm. He was there the day before I got there. I know I documented I was on my way. He didn't want to show up. Mm. I'm going to punch him in his fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, you said it's on site. And listen, it's, and it's not, and it's not, it's not major beef, bro. I don't want to stab him. I don't want to shoot him. I'm not waiting in his bushes for him to come home. It's not that deep. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I could have been pulled up on him. I could have found him. Because... I was I got upset because everybody else is mad. How dare he even say anything? I don't give a f- what you said. Mm. Really, you gonna say something about him? Like, really? That's the protection I got. I'm walking down the street one day, a nigga come up to me mad, like, yo, I don't like what that bitch ass nigga said. This f- 
fucked that nigga. I was like, yo, what are you even talking about? Because I didn't even know what he was talking about. Right. And then I, I let that go. And then uh, my friend from home texts me like, yo, what? You, I, I need to fly out there. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. I'm like, yo, who, who you talking about? The Rico Strong nigga. So I was like, what? What, what, what happened? Mm. So I, I watched the interview. So I, I'm, I'm watching it. It got toward, you know, it was a little while before it got to that. I was about to cut it off because I was like, what are they talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not watching it. He's a fucking lame. That whole shit, I would have kicked him out of my studio with that lame shit he was talking about. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted my waves like Brian Pumper. <laughs> uh, he keep his dick hard. He do, Like, who does that? Like, come on, my dude. Like, yo. <laughs> so I'm like, yo. Everybody keep coming to me like, yo, fuck that. Yo, I could have had somebody else do something. But like I said, it's not that deep. Like, mm. come on. I'm, I'm a grown man, bro. Like, oh, somebody said something about you. Uh, you going, it, it can't be that deep. Right. But he's not going to walk past me. We're not going to be in the same building. He's going to go, he's not going to walk past me and know where we at. And I came to Vegas because that's what I do. Mm. And he lives in Vegas. And I'm there three days. I don't see him. Mm. I'm all in the convention. I'm all outside the convention. I'm at the parties that they having at that event. You see me when I met you uh-huh. at there. What was he? He did not show up to none of that. Mm. He lives there. Mm. He knew I was in town, bro. Oh. I swear to you, he knew I was in town. Damn. He's not built like that. Why even that. go there? Don't, don't say nothing. Right. Oh, he did some dumb shit back. And I wouldn't even said nothing. Like, and, and 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 you kind of sparked it. You it up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what I was doing, but yeah, it's kind of your fault. But it's not your fault. But you brought it up, mm. and and I didn't know he still harbored that ten some odd years ago, bro. I don't. I got yeah, nothing. I against didn't him. put it up. I got nothing against him, but it's content over everything. So I'm gonna air this out. Mm-hmm. After I did that interview with him. We did a, a live stream. We did an episode of, I think it was uh, the other homies at the time, at the end of the day. So I'm doing a podcast with a bunch of other dudes. And he sticks around. And he like came on camera. He's talking and shit randomly, whatever. This motherfucker got drunk as hell. He was he's drunk a lino, as fuck bro. in that's this a, building. See, that's another thing, bro. <laughs> he, he, he's a, he got a gambling problem. He drink too much. He mm. still live with his moms, bro. But so then... A girl hit hold on, me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He still live with his moms, bro. I, I don't want to comment on anybody's nah, fuck situation. That. I'm so, commenting yeah. on it. Nat Turner said it. Mm. Now I don't, you know, I'm 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 on your platform, right? But this this is not. He's not built his his. He he, he shouldn't have said nothing about me at all, bro. He's not built like this that girl. At all. This girl was at the was at the office that day. <laughs> she said that when she left. She saw him pulled over on the side of the road, sleeping in his car on the way back because this motherfucker got too drunk. So I, I hope he got home safe because I felt bad when I heard that. And see what I'm saying? <laughs> that sound like a fair fight to you? Like, uh, I feel bad. I'm going to punch him in his mouth and I'm going to feel bad about it. It got to be at least three years if I don't see him. <laughs> you think it's going to be a while? <laughs> then I'll be like, all right, all right, cool. You'll get over I'll it. I'll get over, over it. Yeah, yeah. But within this next two years, yeah. <laughs> if I ever see a video, I, I just want to punch him in the mouth. That's cool. You want to fight? Then I'm going to put him in the Campbell Clutch. You right. know what I'm saying? I seen someone the other day that I have beef with from like five years ago, and I couldn't he's remember like, why. Right, yeah, all right, fuck it. You I'm know like, he's like, what up? I'm like, I can't remember. I, n- I remember being mad at you, bro, but I can't remember why, so it is what it is. Yeah, leave it alone. Um, okay. So that's good to have that out there. All yeah, right. yeah. I just wanted to, you know, and that's when I found you. I was like, yo, he going to be where? I I was with Shorty. I was like, yo, let's pull up on the way mm. at the strip club. Let's go. <laughs> that was my whole purpose. Right. I swear to you. Because you, you figured Rico might to, stop by my strip club yo, event. Listen, mm. it, it would have been, yeah, it would have been an issue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why didn't he hit me up? <laughs> Maybe he thought yeah, you were going to pull he up. He knew I was there. Come on, my dude. I'm bro. telling you. I'm keeping it 100 with you. He knew I was there, bro. Right. God, I shouldn't man. have put on my social media. I was on the way. Mm. I should have just pulled up. Mm. But it's cool. Like I said, it's not. It's not that deep. Mm. I could have been set that up. I right. could have had a girl calling. Yeah, come do content with me. Uh, 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 and Oof. then I jump out the bushes and put the nigga in the fucking. That's a good hole. point. Anybody who does like, OnlyFans content like, on, yeah, is easy to set saying? up. <laughs> easy to set up, bro. I could have did that. Yeah, thirsty. She would have did it. We ain't pointing the cameras that way, but. She was ready. Like, yeah. I was like, chill. That's cool. We good. Oh, man.